everyone this is Mel Spark today I'm going to discuss about the Korean etiquette these are the things that you must not do here in Korea number one don't wear shoes inside the house make sure if you visit a Korean's house you have to remove your shoes and you should walk barefoot why because um, it is connected to their cultural aspects long time ago uh, ancestors they sleep on the floor for number two wait for elderly to taste the food uh, mostly in Korea the elderly start to taste the food first and then after that it would be a signal that everybody should start eating why this is the Korean tradition that showing respect to the elder is the most important number three be careful when using chopsticks so after you finish eating uh, please do not put your chopsticks in upright position instead uh, lay them over the mouth of the bowl so they balance across why as you can see in the picture it looks like incense and it is kind of an act in a funeral ceremony here in korea number four don't blow your nose in front of others one of the most annoying uh, noise is sniffing or inhaling with a runny nose but for koreans it is not annoying but the act of blowing the nose is quite unpleasant especially if you're having a meal with others so if you think you're going to sneeze or you have a runny nose you're going to blow your nose please excuse yourself and go to the toilet number five give and receive with both hands so please use uh, your both hands when receiving business cards gifts or passing uh, something at a restaurant so you do it like this okay and then when you receive as well why because like bowing this is also a sign of respect number six don't refuse a drink from your boss or a colleague most Koreans uh, must attend a company dinner or a drink with boss or colleagues it is called Kweshik. The idea of this uh, having dinner and drink together is to strengthen the relationship with co-workers. So let your co-workers or boss uh, pour an alcohol into your glass and return the favor. Uh, you should never put your own alcohol into your glass and uh, you should not refuse a drink. Why? Because it is considered rude here in Korea. Just thank them if they ask you to drink. For number seven, don't sit on a pregnant, handicapped, and elderly seat. When using the public transportation like subway and bus, you can see a yellow color. It's called noyak chaso, uh, which means seating reserved for the handicapped, elderly, and pregnant. Um, these special seats are made for them. So if uh, you're not uh, elderly, you're not pregnant, and you're not handicapped, and you sit there, so most Koreans will look at you, and someone might say something to you. So don't sit there. For number eight, do not take photos or videos of people in public places, especially inside the subways. Why? There is a law in Korean right to publicity or called Chosangkwan in Korean. Uh, it is the right to keep one's image likeness for being commercially exploited without permission. So it means you should not take photos or videos of any people, especially Koreans. Once you've been caught, you have to pay 100 million won. It's equivalent to 8,500 uh, US dollars or you should be sent into jail. Number nine, don't smoke anywhere. In Korea, there is an anti-smoking law. That is why it is not allowed to smoke anywhere. If you really want to smoke, you have to find for a smoking area. Um, especially in the main roads if you would be caught smoking you have to pay for the fine 
uh, 100,000 won equivalent to 90 US dollars. Number 10, don't write names using red ink. Never use a red ink when writing someone's name. A uh, long time ago, Koreans used red ink in writing uh, the names of the deceased people in their family register. So once you use a red ink for the name of a person who is still alive, you are wishing that person, uh, person's death and harm. So these are the 10 things that you must not do here in Korea. So please bear that in mind. So when you travel here, you will not encounter some problems. So that's all for today. Goodbye. Thank you. So please subscribe to my channel.